Hey guys, just got back from lunch. I moved my stand up on top of the hill because all the deer are running around chasing does. The bucks are the chasing does up top of here. And I'm right off of the trail that runs over the hill that we were on before. But now we're up on top. So we'll see how this works out. We got a bunch of rubs and scrapes up here. It's looking pretty good. So... Hopefully, we can get one tonight. All right. Hey guys, it's Kevin from Team Rambo. Uh, last night I had a pretty disappointing hunt. Had uh, nubs come in on me. A uh, big buck we've been seeing on the trail cam. Eight yards. Yeah, I said eight yards. It was a back left, almost um, turned uh, 180 degrees around in my tree stand. Um, unfortunately, I wasn't able uh, to get a, a, a super clean shot. Uh, those, those close shots, you tend to shoot high. I shot over its back, um, but it makes it more difficult when your peep sight's sideways on you and you're trying to look through a hole that you know, doesn't exist. But, you know, out here today, Hey guys, it's Kevin with Rambo Outdoors. Um, heading into the woods, got in a little bit uh, late today. It's about uh, noon. Um, two weeks left before Thanksgiving, so definitely trying to, to catch these last couple of does that are hot in the rut and hope I can catch a big big buck running, but um, still disappointed I missed one earlier in the year. Uh, it was the biggest buck I've ever seen in the woods in my life, um, so you know, hopefully get another shot of that buck, but gonna get in there today, see uh, what the trail cam looks like where I was hunting last week, where I missed that buck at. If uh, the trail cam looks good, I'm gonna stay at that stand. Um, Fortunately, there's a nice quad trail for me to walk in on there. It's not much of a walk. I should be able to get in and out without really interrupting too, too much. So, you know, normally I wouldn't walk into a stand to check the trail camera, but it seems like a good idea. I, I, I mean, I can only uh, not help but feel sick to my stomach missing that, that deer last week. And if it's on cam during the daylight, you better believe I'm going to hop in there right now. So, um, wish me luck this afternoon. And, uh, uh, I'll follow up with you guys and see how it goes. As you can see, we're sitting right off of this alfalfa lane. It's a gas line that runs down to the road and the bucks bed down at the bottom and they come up over top of the hill.
our, we're in our stand for day 10. As soon as I got in here, I got in my stand. A six point came and hit this scrape back here. I didn't even have my bow up yet, so I couldn't get a shot at it. Well, we just had a uh, three-point come in, and there's there's two uh, two big scrapes over on the other side of me, about 15, 20 yards away. That I made mock scrapes. They, the bucks have been hitting those scrapes. So he came in, he hit the licking branch, he hit the scrape, and then he went up over the top of the hill. Hey guys, this is John for Rambo Outdoor Adventures. We're here for the first day of Pennsylvania rifle season up in Grove City, Pennsylvania on the farm. Uh, it's a pretty good day, about 40 degrees, not too bad. We're in a nice ladder stand overlooking a huge bottom. We'll see if we can get a buck today. There goes the shot. Hey guys, we just... Uh... <laughs> Just shot a buck uh, about 50 yards away. You can see the stand uh, right up in that tree. You see the stand, it's about 50 yards away. So we are looking, we shot him right here. Right here somewhere, so we're looking for blood. Not bad blood. I know I hit him because the mule kicked. More blood. Oh yeah, look, he's running real deep, deep and hard. He should be up here, around the corner. I heard him crash, I thought. Right up in here, I thought I heard him. Oh, there he is, right there. There he is. See the antler? Get the gun out and make sure he's down. Oh yeah, he's down. 